Hey guys, Tim Rundle here, and today I want to show you a really important part of jig fishing. Um, you can't fish a jig unless you have a trailer on there. So you might have gone to the store, you get yourself one of these um, Ike's Mini Flip Jigs, the half ounce candy grass color by uh, Missile Beats. You got one, but now you're like, well, now what do I do? So the, one of the first things you want to figure out is what am I putting on the back of this, and how am I putting on the back of this? So I'm just going to show you two of my favorite uh, trailer choices. Um, and how to put them on. There's two different ways, and depending on how you're flipping, what you're flipping, uh, where you're flipping, or pitching, or uh, skipping, that's gonna determine what you're putting on and how you're putting on there. Uh, so first I'm gonna show you with this, like I said, this Ike's Mini Flip Jig, and the first way that I'm gonna show you how to uh, jig a trailer, or trailer a jig, um, with one of these Ultra Vibe Speed Crawls from Zoom. This is a green pumpkin. Uh, purple and green color. There's purple and green flake in there. Um, really, really awesome. I'd probably, to be honest, if I was going to put it on here, I'd probably cut it down a little bit. But the first way I'm going to show you is simply called uh, threading it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your, your jig, flip it upside down, just to get that skirt out of the way. Um, these mini flip jigs, there's a lot of skirt in there. But when you have it down like that, and you have that uh, guard there, that's going to let you really sink this trailer on there. But when you're threading it, you have to push the weed guard out of the way. You can just push it down like that, okay? And you're gonna take your take your trailer and you're gonna put it right up through the middle of the jig and push it on there. And once you push it on there, you have it kind of like this. You're just gonna keep feeding it through until you really can't, it starts to feel awkward getting clumped up. And then you'll push it back through the other side. I wanna make sure I get for this because it's something with so many appendages, you want it to look natural. So you're gonna to want to come in right through the middle. Let's see if I get that on camera. Okay, so on that side, it looks like that. Um, I'll see if I can get a good view there. And then you're not gonna stop. You're gonna keep pushing it around until you get the whole way up there. So there you go. That's probably gonna get the best angle there. Okay. So let's see, is that, that that's, that's pretty good through the middle. I'd want it a little more centered. But that's called threading. So right there, um, when you thread it, you're gonna have more of a compact profile. This actually looks pretty good. Uh, I might, like I said, I could take a couple of the segments off the, the top here, and I would probably do that because there is so much distance between um, the actual hook and the end of this trailer. So I would I would cut a little bit of that down, modify it, uh, but that's one way in this, so threading. If you're on a trailer, a jig with threading, like I said, um, it's a little more compact. So you're not going to get quite as much action out of this because it's the whole way up there. Um, so your jig isn't going to be, or your trailer is not going to be flopping all around behind it as much. So, uh, and more when you're looking for more of a subtle action, that's when you want to uh, go with the threading. Now, on the other side of it, if you want more of a um, trailer that's moving all around and you uh, are, are looking to um, really get a lot of action out of your trailer, then you're going to do this other technique. So I'm going to show you on this black and blue um, TNT baits water jig. So this one I'm going to be showing you with a uh, the, again by Zoom. I I just like their trailer. It's something I rely on. I'm comfortable in. I think they're a good price for the uh, amount you get. You get five of these. These are the super trunks. Uh, this is black and blue again. Um, they also make super trunk junior, so it's a little smaller. So a chunk is a pretty standard trailer. Um, so again. Just flip it upside down, get all your skirt out of the way. Sometimes they really annoy you. And so this other way is just called tipping. Um, and it's just like it sounds. You're gonna tip it, you're just gonna take the take the jig, the hook, and you're just gonna tip it right through there. And then you just leave it there. Just like that. Uh, that, yeah. And I, I, I personally don't know. Um, I have never had anyone say anything to me about it, or asked for that matter. If it matters, if the big end is up, that elevated end, if that's up or down, I don't really think it would or does. I think it's just kind of there. Um, and again, this is what you're gonna do if you want a bigger profile. Look how much, look how big this is. Um, there you go, side by side. So with this, the tipping, you're gonna get a lot, a lot bigger profile. If you're like flipping onto a bed. This is going to really entice some bites because they don't want the the female laying on that bed is not going to want this thing getting their hair eggs. 
So I would definitely, you know, pitch it up onto the bed or flip it onto the bed from a distance and so you don't disturb them. You don't get, especially if you're sight fishing, that's when you're going to want to go with uh, something a little bigger like that. And again, this is tipping. So you just tip it right through the nose and you get that big presentation. And you can even see just from dangling around, those flappers are moving all over the place. So you're going to get a lot more action out of like this. Like I said, you get your threading more compact, not moving all over the place. And then you get your tipping. So it's going to be more action and a much bigger profile. Um, so it all just depends on the situation, where you're flipping, what you're flipping, um, and what the fish want. That's what always determines it in our sport. What do the fish want? Uh, I always think that the, the tipping looks a little funnier. And I feel like I'm going to lose more trailers and get more tail grabs. And that's probably true. Um, versus the, the more compact threading. I think the threading seems to be a little more stable and durable in there just because it's, you know, it's it's more hooked really into that plastic, into that plastic trailer. Um, so there you go. That's what I got for you. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Um, subscribe to my page, like the video, recommend to some friends, family, coworkers, whatever you got to do. Uh, just help brother out. Um, look me up on Instagram at Tim Rundle Fishing and on uh, Twitter at Rundle Fishing. And also on Periscope, I've been doing a little more of that lately. Um, I can guarantee you as the weather warms up, we're going to be hitting the Periscope on the water a lot more uh, in the coming weeks. So that's that's really exciting. I cannot wait for that. The lake is officially uh, thawed out, so should be able to get some fish, uh, real fishing, fishing footage coming out here soon. Um, so again, go like me all over those places. Go check out some Ardent uh, products at ArdentOutdoors.com or Ardent Reels. Dot com. Either one's going to get you there. Uh, SFTTackle.com. The store is about to open up for a soft opening this week, which is really cool. I'm really happy those guys are getting back on their feet um, because their cabin fever event is coming up in like three weeks, the end of this month. And so that's going to be huge. They're going to have more seminars, and I'm really looking forward to it. And luckily, they're going to be ready to go by then. Um, so thanks for stopping by. Tight lines. Get on the water and let me know what you think. Thank you.